Hi, Facebook. How are you this evening? I'm going to wait on some people to hop on the line here and then we could begin. But how is everybody doing this evening? It's getting cold in New York and I'm not enjoying the weather at all. Hi, how are you? I'm not enjoying the weather at all here. Um, it's cold today to me or maybe I don't dress warm. You know what I noticed since I have short hair? That it is cold if you don't wear hat on your head. All right, let me get started and stop messing around, right? Um, um, some other people will join while I'm talking. But I am Veroni. Thank you guys for watching. Say hi, say hi, please. Give me some love. Hey, Amanda. Hi, hi, hi. So I am Veroni Anderson and I'm the Love Catalyst and I help you shift from breakup to love up if you haven't um, know what I do because I everything like every, every, every day. Thank you guys for the love. So my topic today is seven signs that a man is no longer interested. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And I know, you know, you're in a relationship with a man and, you know, things was going so good and then all of a sudden things just change and you're wondering what the hell happened right and um your mind your gut is telling you that something have changed but you don't want to believe it believe it because you're hoping that the relationship is going to work or something will change right so i'm going to talk to you about um seven signs today um so you could know if a guy is interested in you right <laughs> Hi, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the first sign is reduce communication. You're talking all the time, constantly on the phone, texting, calling, everything, and all of, all of a sudden, no phone call, no text, or maybe far and in between um, texts, but the amount of time he used to spend on the phone with you talking to you have just reduced, all right? And you always have to be the one to call him and initiate the conversation. You're always the one who initiate the conversation. So if you're talking to a guy and reduce communication with you, hi, reduce communication with you, then you need to notice. All right? First one. The tone of his voice change. The tone of his voice change. Thank you for all the hearts and all the love. The tone of his voice change. Right. Because when a man is interested, I got you take notice when a guy is interested in you. Right. They have this soft, flirty voice that they talk to you in this subtle, subtle voice. Right. So when they're no longer interested, hi, Melissa, when they're no longer interested, um, that flirty, soft voice is no longer there. They have their normal tone or maybe their tone is even very short with you or they're very impatient with you. But that soft, flirty, soft voice that they normally talk to you with is no longer there because they don't care they don't care so watch it just watch <laughs> it's reduced communication is definitely um a sign if a guy and you were talking all the time right and then they just cut talk with you out of the loop then you really have to take notice and if you initiate a couple times and say hey um what's going on and call and call and call and they either cut you off they give you you know you know, um, they take long to call you back, then you kind of have to, you, you, you got to perk up right there. Right? You got to perk up. But listen for their tone of voice too. Listen to their tone of voice because when they're interested in you, trust me, they're definitely flirty and stuff. The next one is they break plans constantly, constantly. They will um, schedule date or maybe you call them and say, hey, I want to go to dinner. And they maybe will agree. And then all of a sudden when it's about to, to happen, they call and said, hi, something come up and I can't make it. And they don't reschedule. They don't do um, like a genuine reason, like something happened. They'll be like, oh, I was tired. Oh, I was busy. They don't go into an explanation to let you know, like this is what, why I missed a break the date. And I'm so sorry, baby. I'll make it back up to you. It's like, eh, yeah, I couldn't make it. I'm sorry. And they come off the phone because they're not spending any time with you on the phone. So they come off the phone, right? They stop paying attention to you. When a guy is interested, like every day, they, they notice, you, well, they notice you here. They maybe they notice you 
closed year. They notice, they know when it's your birthday. They know, you know, when you're talking about making any plans or anything, if a guy's really interested in you, they, they pay attention and they notice certain stuff. But if the guy is not interested in you, you're talking, they don't even hear what you say. Maybe you and them is together and they're on their phone, not paying attention to you. So if they miss your birthday and miss all the special dates and all the events that's, that, that's special to you, then you know that you're not their top priority anymore. They're not paying attention to you anymore. You're not their main focus. You're not that special person in their life. So you got um, to, to pay attention to that. The next one, number five, is their body language change. Their body language towards you change. Um, you know, when somebody's kind of in, in, interested in you, they're kind of invited. They talk to you. They, they look at your eyes, right? They, they give you eye contact, right? Um, they want to you know and give it their full attention when they're not interested there is no eye contact yeah maybe they will look at you for a short minute but definitely no eye contact they turn around their posture change you know it's not open it's not whatever their posture change so they turn their body away from you um they maybe like fold their hand you know when you when you fold your hand like this it's like you're closed off like um you're not taking any more um information you like close yourself off like this, like, yeah, you're talking, but I'm not listening. I don't know you. I'm just here just because I'm here. But they close their, their, their whole posture. They, they shut down. They're hearing the words you're saying, but it's not going into their head. So they, 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 they fold their arms and, and nothing more. Right? No. <laughs> right? So they close uh, what I was saying. They fold their arms. They're not body language, whatever. And maybe if you're um, talking to them, too, if you're talking to them, they're at a distance. Right. And if when you see them, if they usually hug you and stuff, they no longer do that. Right. So if they turn around for you. They don't want to touch you anymore. You know, guys, when they like you, every chance they get, they touch you. Right. They pinch your ass or do something, but they touch you every chance they get because they want their hand to be on you. The next one is no physical contact. No physical contact. That mean no sex. No, 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 no sex, no touch, no love, no hug, no kiss. Hi, Phoebe. How are you this evening? Thank you for watching me. No hug, no kiss, no, no, nothing. No, um, this is, is, this is me. But if you're in a relationship with a guy and the guy is not having any sex with you, that is the huge red flag. He's not interested. Which guy is not interested in sex? He must have some sexual um, dysfunction if he's not interested in sex or he must be doing it um, somewhere else. But which guy is not interested in sex? And if a guy is feeling you, they want to touch you all the time. They want to have sex with you all the time. So if a guy no longer want to have sex, hey, Natasha, if a guy no longer want to have sex, something is definitely, definitely wrong. He ain't interested. He done. <laughs> the next one is seven. The last one. Um, he doesn't want to spend no time with you at all. That's why he keep on breaking the plans. He doesn't want to spend any time with you. And every time um, he will make an excuse, just not spend any time with you. And if he's spending time, maybe he, he, he spend time with you with somebody else there, but not with you by themselves because he's no longer interested. Right? So this, Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Yeah, he's no longer interested. So as I said, seven side, he's no longer interested. Reduce communication. His tone of voice change. He constantly break plans with you. He stopped paying attention. His body language change. No physical contact. No sex, which is very important to me. Um, and he doesn't want to spend any quality time with you at all. Right. So seven. So here are some solution or some tips how you should do this right wait a week or so without contacting him and say if he initiate a conversation in, if he called you if he doesn't call you then clear sign you know it's over right so just keep on keep that mem momentum and don't call him right but there is a catch there's a caveat too right he could notice that you haven't called him in a week and he would just call you because some guy, right, they like to have play this mind control, right? When they realize that you don't want them to, they want to have you under control. So what they do, they throw a fish, like a, a hook out, 
right? Just to call you and talk to you for a few minutes and um, trick you to say, oh my God, I was making a mistake. He's, he's interested, but no, he just wanted to have you on the string. You know what he wants to do? He will park you on a bench. It depends. Maybe he see another lady out there that he's interested in, but he doesn't know if it's going to work. So he puts you on a bench and he park you, right? He puts you on a bench. You're in a holding position. Um, you're waiting. He wants to like make sure that relationship works, right? So he puts you on a bench and be careful. If a guy doesn't call you constantly, constant effort, right? Constantly effort and time. And if he just call you once in a while, he ain't interested. And maybe too, the reason why he, he just want a sex buddy. He call you once in a while when you want to have sex and he act like he love you. He maybe talk to you and he act like he love you. But once he get the sex or whatever, he's just gone. So be careful, be careful. Okay. Um, the next thing that you could do, you could just simple ask instead of making assumption, just ask, make sure that, just ask him, is there anything going on and have anything changed? Because something that, sometimes there could be personal problem, maybe in his family, maybe with him that's affected, maybe something at work. So you could just ask, right? And if he said it's none of them, you could also say, right? Um, you, know, you know, we were close and now I kind of see that things change. You haven't called me, haven't been calling me, stuff like that. So I just want to know if you want us just to be, you know, stop talking. Talking, we could be friends. That would be fine too. And you do it in a nice um, tone, don't no attitude or anything with it, right? So he, because guys, they do not like to come straight forward and say, "I don't want this relationship." What they will do, they would. I call this fade to black, right? What they will do, they will stop show you all the attention, and then they wait. They tie you out, fade to black. They fade you out. Right. Until finally you're like, oh, yeah, this ain't working. I'm leaving. But they will. Some of them will never come and say, hey, no, I don't want this relationship. So be careful of that. You got to trust your gut, trust your instinct. You know when somebody's treating you right. So you got to trust your gut, trust your gut. If the person is not treating you right, if you think the person is not treating you right, if that feeling keep on coming up constantly, that something is wrong, something is wrong. Trust your gut. Believe in yourself. Trust your gut, right? Don't let him call you and fool you because you know you got to trust your natural instinct. Believe in yourself because if you don't trust yourself, who is going to trust you? So seriously, trust your gut. The next one is if you see, if you talk to him, right? And if you do all the above and you see that it's not working, he's not he haven't changed. He's not cheating you right. Um, he's not putting in the time and the effort to be in this relationship. Hi, Dale. Hi, Tina. If he's not putting in the time and the effort to be in the relationship, you should leave with dignity. And I know, I know it's hard. Trust me. When, if you really like somebody, really feeling somebody and they're not feeling you anymore, but you still have that emotional con connection, it is really, really hard to let go. Right. But I know you're going to hate yourself if, um, you know, the person, if you act up, if you, you know, you cry and you beg the person to take you back or you call the person all the time and said, I don't, uh, um, you know, I don't want to go. Or you, you, you know, you stalk the person. Um, it's going to kind of hurt you in the long run. So don't do it. So just bow out with dignity. If you're hurting, cry in your room. I don't think he is into me anymore. <laughs> Why do you say that, Tina? Why do you say you don't think he's into you anymore? Type something. <laughs> um, or we could chat. Um, but as I was saying, don't, don't try to, try to control your emotions. I know it's hard. Try to, uh, if he doesn't want you anymore, it doesn't make any sense for you to cry in front of him, beg him, say you will do anything for this relationship to work because he doesn't want you anymore. He have checked out long time. So don't, don't, um, don't do it, right? If you're hurting or if you're in pain, go talk to one of your girlfriend or go cry into your room or something, but do not do it in front of him. Just walk away. Just say, you know what? I'm sorry this relationship didn't work. I truly and really like you and I was wishing for it to work, but obviously you don't feel the same for me. 
right? And you want somebody to feel the same way for you or even more. So if the person's not feeling the same for you, just bow out gracefully, right? And wish him the very, very um, best ever in life, right? Somebody else is out there for you. Trust me. Um, the next one is just to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, right? That's what I'm telling you. When you go into a relationship, you should be happy with yourself because a man won't, they won't give you happiness. They will give you it temporarily, but if you're not happy with yourself from the get-go, then they won't give you happiness, right? So you should take care of yourself. Take care of yourself now that the relationship is broken up. Spend some time to get to know you, right? Examine what happened in the relationship, right? And then do something different. Do something that's going to make you happy. Try some form of self-improvement, something that you have never done before. Step out of your comfort zone, but just do something and do whatever to make you happy. And I would say take a break from... Hi. I would say take a break, Michelle. Take a break from the relationship. If you're just broken up with somebody, just take a break for um, a little bit and just to just to breathe, just to think, just to get yourself back together, just to recuperate. Because when you jump from one relationship to the next, you haven't given yourself time to really think, to really absorb what just happened in the other relationship. And just, yes, 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 Dale. Oftentimes we move on too quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Without really stopping, thinking, right? And, and look at what we did in the relationship, what the other person do. So we just need to take time. Hi. We just, hi, how are you guys? Thank you for checking me out. Yeah. You just need time to just take care of yourself. Just take care of yourself before going into another relationship. Take, it, take time to love yourself first, right? Take time to connect with God or whoever it is, the universe. Um, just, take, just take time. Take time to find something that make you happy. So the next relationship you go into, right? You, the person won't disappear or the person won't withdraw from you. Um, so just take time for yourself. So this um, was about seven signs that a man is no longer interested in you. And as I go over them before, the first sign was reducing communication. Um, the tone of your, watch the tone of their voice. Their tone of their voice changed. They're no longer flirtatious. Their, um, their voice is like normal. They break plans with you constantly. They stop paying attention to you. Their body language towards you have changed. They're no longer, they don't physically want to touch or make any connection. Um, they resist. And they stop spending time with you. And um, so I was given some tips or some solution of what to do. And I said, wait a week. If you see that they're not calling, they're not initiating, wait a week before you... Um, Hey, Harace, how are you? Wait a week um, before you call them and see if they, um, wait a week and see if they call you, right? Then if they don't call you, you could actually call and ask, hi, um, I'm just wondering what's going on with the relationship. Um, you know, did I do something? And then, you know, just ask them. As I said, there could be something going on with them and there couldn't be not. Maybe they just want to break up and they're fading you to black. They're just want you, they're fading you to black, meaning that they want you to break up the relationship. They don't have the nerve to tell you that a relationship is over. Thank you, Horace. And the next thing is trust your gut instinct. This right here, you got to trust yourself. So you know if a person is interested in you, yes or no. So you got to trust yourself and trust your gut instinct. And don't let somebody, um, their actions, they could say this, they could talk and say, hey, I love you, whatever. But if their action doesn't back it up, then it's useless. So trust your gut instinct and live with dignity. Learn to control emotions. Don't curse anybody out, right? Don't be mad. Don't call them and harass them. Live with dignity and wish them the very best in life. And the next one is just to take care of you. You come first. The way you take care of yourself reflects how another person will take care of you. That's all I have to say for tonight. I wish you love, light, and positive energy. Once again, this is Veroni Anderson, the Love Catalyst, and I help you shift from breakup to love up. Thank you very much for watching me. Have a very good night. Bye.